Assalamu alaikum. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his messenger. It's my pleasure to greet you this morning and to give you some insight on behalf of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and the Nation of Islam into the growth and development of Muhammad mosques of Islam throughout the wilderness of North America. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad has been successful in establishing Islam throughout Black America. But we want to examine this morning for your studies at Muhammad University of Islam and for the sake of discussion and just enjoyment, how great our nation really is and how it really grew. We all know that Muhammad Mosque number one is in Detroit, Michigan. But let's examine how the other mosques grew and how our nation actually expanded. Let's review, shall we? Muhammad Mosque number one is in Detroit, Michigan. Number two, our headquarters at Mas Mariam in Chicago. Number three, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Number four, in the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. Number five, the great city of Cincinnati, Ohio. Number six, Baltimore, Maryland. Number seven, New York City. Number eight, is in San Diego, California. Number nine, Youngstown, Ohio. Number 10, Atlantic City, New Jersey. Number 11, Boston, the home of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Number 12, the top of the clock, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Number 13, Springfield, Massachusetts. Number 14 is in Hartford, Connecticut. Number 15, they call it the Rock of the South, Atlanta, Georgia. Number 16 is in Lansing, Michigan. Number 17, Joliet, Illinois. Mosque number 18 is in Cleveland, Ohio. And mosque number 19 is there in Dayton, Ohio. Mosque number 20, is in Camden, New Jersey. Number 21, Jersey City, New Jersey. Number 22, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Number 23, Buffalo, New York. Look how your nation is growing. Number 24, Richmond, Virginia. Number 25, Newark, New Jersey. Number 26, San Francisco, California. Number 26B, right across the bridge in Oakland, California. Mosque number 27 is there in Los Angeles, California. Mosque number 28, the great city of St. Louis, Missouri. Mosque number 29 is our seventh regional headquarters in Miami, Florida. Mosque number 30, Kansas City, Missouri. Mosque number 31, the city of South Bend, Indiana. Mosque number 32 is there in the great western headquarters of the Nation of Islam. We call it that because it's the winter home of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. That's Phoenix, Arizona. Mosque number 33 is in Gary, Indiana. Mosque number 34, the great city of Durham, North Carolina. For mosque number 35, we move up to Wilmington, Delaware. And then for number 36, back down to Charlotte, North Carolina. Mosque number 37 is in Akron, Ohio. Number 38, Columbia, South Carolina. Look at your nation grow. Because mosque number 39 is in Fresno, California. Then back east for number 40, there at New Haven, Connecticut. Number 41, Bridgeport, Connecticut. Number 42, Long Beach, California. Number 43, Columbus, Ohio. Number 44, Trenton, New Jersey. Number 45, Houston, Texas, the Southwest Regional Headquarters of our nation. Number 46, the great city of New Orleans, Louisiana. Number 47, 
Tampa, Florida. Number 48, Dallas, Texas. Number 49, and you'll need to remember this one, Kankakee, Illinois. Number 50, all the way down in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Yes, number 51, Denver, Colorado. Number 52, Fort Worth, Texas. Number 53, the great city of Flint, Michigan. Number 54 is the city of Compton, California. Number 55, they are in Memphis, Tennessee. Number 56, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Number 57, Norfolk, Virginia. Number 58, Mobile, Alabama. Number 59, Pittsburgh, California. They have no H on the end of Pittsburgh when it's in California. Number 60, Nashville, Tennessee. Number 61, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Number 62, Portland, Oregon. Number 63, it's going to be out there in Little Rock, Arkansas. Number 64, Austin, Texas. Number 65, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Moss number 66, Jacksonville, Florida. Number 67, in King County, Washington, Seattle, Washington. Number 68, Kansas City, Kansas. Not to be confused with number 30, which is in Kansas City, Missouri. Number 69, Birmingham, Alabama. And number 70, there in Tyler, Texas. How about number 71, Springfield, Ohio. Number 72, Richmond, California. Number 73, where we're actually speaking to you from today, Sacramento, California. Number 74, Indianapolis, Indiana. And number 75, Las Vegas, Nevada. Now we're focused on numbers 1 through 75 because although there are higher numbers than 75, we must make sure that we fill in all the gaps and be as historically accurate as possible. So in part two, we'll go into those higher numbers than 75. But I think we've made the point this morning that our nation grew aggressively through the efforts of the valiant, brave, courageous, and energetic followers of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, who took this message of Islam like Minister Farrakhan promised that he would do, to every nook and cranny, to every city and town, by every highway and byway throughout this great country of ours. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, has given us a message today that is enlivening and rebuilding and reinvigorating the nation of Islam. So get in your mosque and learn your nation, but be proud to be a citizen of the nation of Islam because we're all over America and we're all around the globe. One last point. You'll note that Islam seemed to grow in some places more than others. That's natural according to population and according to demographics. But if you look at the nation of Islam, you'll find that there are three states which lead in the number of registered mosques in those states. Let's be very frank about it. Number three is New Jersey. Number two is Ohio. And the state in the United States with the highest number of chartered nation of Islam mosques is California. This is some of the history of your nation of Islam. Be a proud citizen, brother and sister. Know and learn your nation. For just as the citizens of other nations know the state and provincial capitals of their nation, you too must know the mosques in your nation. You must learn and be proud of the great history of your nation of Islam. And we pray that this little exercise this morning has been somewhat helpful in doing that. Contact us. 
let us know that you enjoyed this message or if we can make it better, how we can improve it. We are here to serve you and we're here to help you in learning all that we can share with you about our great nation of Islam. Thank you. Have a great morning. Enjoy your school day at Muhammad University of Islam and have a great, great day all day. Thank you, brothers and sisters. May Allah bless you. Assalamu alaikum.